here's their story. It's a metaphor. They don't believe that there ever was a God or that there ever is a God aside from man himself. And man has not reached that state yet, but can, this is what they teach in the lodges, that if you perfect yourself as the temple of the God within and become Christed, you've all heard this in the New Age movement, you too can become God. Here's the way they look at it. Here's their metaphor for the end of innocence. Adam and Eve were held prisoner in the Garden of Eden by an unjust, cruel, and vindictive God. Until Lucifer, through his agent Satan, set man free from this garden by giving him the gift of intellect. Through the use of intellect, man will conquer the earth, will conquer nature, and will himself become God. It's taught in every Masonic temple in this land, every secret brotherhood, every secret society, every mystical temple, every occult organization teaches the Luciferian philosophy. They do not believe in Lucifer, they do not believe in any entity called a devil, and they do not believe in God. It is a mistake for you to assume that they do. They are atheists in the strictest sense of the word. They are humanists. That's their religion. At the highest level, their goal is to create a world in which the adepts, the thousand points of light, working behind the veil to create the culmination of the great plan, can realize the ultimate happiness for mankind. <laughs>